a Auburn season in total. Uh, we looked at this before the season. We all had our thoughts about it. I think they were about the same. Uh, we knew six and six and seven and five was probably the most realistic possibility. Mm -hmm. We're looking back now at six and six on this Auburn football season. And I'll go ahead and say it. I think this team underachieved. Mm -hmm. Looking back at it now and what I know now and what they're – because I've never seen – I don't think I've ever seen a team that had a wider gap with what they were capable of, good and bad. Mm -hmm. And it, it's just it, – it's kind of a – I don't know. It, they, they were able to rise to the level of – you know, playing with, if not beating, in a position to beat the two best teams in the SEC. Mm -hmm. And yet they were also – could play down to the fact of losing by three touchdowns to New Mexico State, looking completely inept versus, you know, Texas A&M for most of the game, California for most of the game, LSU. So, I, you know, it, it just kind of it, – it, it's one of those – it's first year – for you, Freeze, you're looking back on it, and will we will we be will we be looking back on this game years from now or a couple of years from now and saying, okay, Auburn laid a foundation. Uh, you know, they they proved that they could play with anybody, that they could close that gap, and they did. They brought in, you know, some dynamic recruiting classes, and now you know Auburn's off to uh, on a level playing field. And they're and they're winning games, winning big games. Or are we looking back on this and saying, "Man, you know, this is just a sign of more things to come." I don't know, but I know that that was a I know that was a heartbreaking loss. Uh, nobody more heartbreaking than those players. Mm 